Hey guys, this is Jusilla. And this is Nessie. And we have something really cool to present today. Yes. Are you tired of waiting for Girl Scouts to sell cookies? Well now you can make it, make your own. Oh! <laughs> Girl Scout <laughs> oven cookie thing. I think I just messed that up. <laughs> no, this is, this is really, really cool. Um, it's by Wicked, Wicked Cool, cool Toys. Toys. Yeah, and you can get more information about this on wickedcooltoys.com if you like. On their Facebook, Wicked Cool Toys. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah, this is coming out soon in the stores. Um, we got the privilege of working with it before, so we can show all of you viewers. So when Christmas rolls around, you can put this on your list. I'm sure Girl Scouts would like to learn how to make their own cookies as well. So, that's really cool. Ages. Ages eight and up, with parents' permission, or like a parent, not permission. Like parent help, probably like, or somebody older to help you. Yes. Parent permission advised. There's zero gram grams trans fat per serving. <laughs> for everybody that's that. always good for like when grandparents rolling around, you know, and you wanna. So let's uh, get yeah. this thing cracked. Can't see the front, so I don't know. We'll just like show everything, like front. Mm -hmm. It's like the different cookies here that you can there and add on packs, and there's like the little words here. And then it shows you the different stuff and like how to do it. Okay, so we're just gonna unbox it. Unbox it, yes. Go for it. Mm, the nuts. Cookies. Oh gosh. Oh, it smells like the mix. Here's our oven. Why don't you unwrap our oven? And I'll get our ingredients, like our spatulas and stuff. Oh. So here's the little tray that it comes with. It's like a mini conventional big oven, but for for these packages, of course. Got a double-sided spatula. Um, got a measuring cup. It's a measuring cup, but with like a, a shot, so it's easier. So here, first, we have the the oven. Oh, it's backwards. The oven here. Conventional oven. But yeah. And we have some instructions, which are always great to read. Then we have a warning. I'm just kidding. An attention thing. The baking sheet. Two sided. Um, two sided. What's it called? Spatula. It's two sided. So you like pull this out. And then this is a measuring cup. So like fill it up like that. So it's just easier and you don't really have to make such a huge mess if you want to go make something. Like in the kitchen you have to wash dishes and why not? Just just I really think there's a hole in this package or something. No, there's not. Anyways. I don't know. And then we have the chocolate mix, chocolate cookie mix and the the mint chocolate mix. Can you make the mint chocolate cookie? And then hand wash only and towel dry. So, now I'm going to turn it on and set my timer for five minutes. Yeah. That's, so, that's, that's step three, guys. So, while we're waiting for that, um, I feel like we're in Sweet Willie's kitchen right now. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> Sweet Willie's kitchen. Hi, Sweet Willie. Um, we'll then, the instruction booklet here. then guys, what we're going to be doing is we're going to, it's, it's, it's batter up. It's, it's batter up time. Um, you take the batter, pour the entire packet of chocolate flavored cookie mix into a bowl. That's the chocolate chips. So do you want to do the opening and pouring? Okay, I'll do that. You do you. What are we doing? Well, I, I could just do this. I don't know if you can see that camera, but I'm pouring it over here. Just pour the whole thing in there. Yep, that's what it says. Now step five is fill the cup with water. Use the perfect cookie um, milliliter. Okay. Taking a while. Oh wait, well, use well, the perfect well. cookie uh, milliliter measuring tool to add nine milliliters of water to the mix. So what I'm going to do is, this is really cool because 
it's the perfect cookie measurement. All right. So we're gonna fill it up to nine milliliters, which is right here. I'm gonna check my timer. It's a science right here. It's probably gonna get hot soon, so this is gonna get hot. Okay. So do not touch. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna stop. Don't it. touch, guys. Daddy's here, so oh, he's our supervisor. I'm, I'm not smart. Can they? Can they see? Okay, I'm gonna do it this way so I can see. Three minutes, eleven seconds. But you're gonna put it in there and just pull up and up. Okay, now it's nine milliliters, right there. Yeah. I knew you wanted to do that. Go ahead. Go for it. It's like you're getting a shot, guys. Okay, so <laughs> this is getting hot. I feel it. That's why it says do not touch the back of the oven. So what we're gonna do is um, is there anything in front? Stir of it? the water mixed with a, a spoon until the batter's combined. If you don't see the watery lump, watery lumpy or a dry batter, you're good to go. So we're just gonna mix this. Seems like you need more water. No, just wait. Don't add water if you don't need it, or don't add water without dough. what it says. Kind of. Oh, let's check the timer, guys. So we're just gonna mix it. Right, two minutes and forty seconds. Oh, what? Two minutes and ten seconds. Sorry. We're mixing, and we're mixing, we're mixing, and we're mixing. That's where the awkward sure music comes on. More water? Because it looks watery yeah, in here. Stir the water and mix. Yeah, it looks kind of creamy, more creamy in here. I feel like we should just make one giant one. That'd be awesome. Just kidding. Okay, um, we're not going to add any extra water because it's not what the instruction says, guys. Follow the instructions. So, stir the water and mix together with a spoon until the batter is combined. Okay. Probably what she already said. Use the spoon to scoop the batter into six one-inch cookies into the pan. Oh, it's, is this like a plate? Don't touch it. I thought that was a plate. No, you're going to put this in there and touch it. Oh. So, oh, that's where it gets heated. So, oh. I guess I'll just shake these by hand then. Um, okay, and make sure you have cooking spray in it. Um, 35 seconds, guys. So use a spoon to scoop the batter into six one-inch cookies into the baking pan. Try to make the cookies all the same size so they'll be evenly baked. Baking okay. pan. Is that six one-inch? Yeah. What about the other, other batter? What is that? Is that that's, just... That's chocolate chips. Oh. So what? That scared the crud out of me, guys. It scared the crud out of me, but time's up. So we're just wait. You know, I mean, it's already heated, so just wait in there. Meanwhile, while well, Jessica's still working on the six cookies that she's ugly making over there. I'm just kidding. She's doing a very good job. Better. It smells like rice. It smells like rice. I don't know. I think we're cooking rice right now. I think but we're gonna make five cookies rice. instead of six. Do not leave the oven unattached while cookies are baking, guys. We're gonna make five, guys. Not five guys. After that, we're gonna slide the baking thing into this side right here, and then we're gonna move the little lever here all the way to the right, which it says slowly all the way to the right until it reaches the end of the track. And you sit and wait for eight to nine minutes. Check them out of the baking window as they go from dough to delicious. So I'm going to slide that through there. Here. Oh, safety first, guys. Don't forget to spray your baking baking soda. Your your um. Don't drop the cookies now. Your spray in here. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna put it in here. Okay, that's not gonna fit. So we need to smash it down more. Okay. And now we um, smash them down off camera because um. We made six um, because they were too big and bulky. So there you go. Safety first. You can just slide it in. I know, but I want to be. I want to be fancy. You're supposed to use the other end. You're gonna drop the cookies. No. Oh. It's the other end of the spatula. Oh. Like this. Oh. Okay. So we're gonna slide it in. And now we gotta move this thing. Just look, can you do it? Move this thing slowly to the right. To the or to the left, to the this way. Oh, okay. Go.
Okay, keep pushing it. I know. Is it going? Is it in? Keep going to the right. All the way. There we go. And as you can see it in the middle. I don't know if you can see it right here. I'm pretty sure you can. But yes, it's actually it seems really cool right now. Okay, so we are going to wait. Eye on the prize. Set the timer for eight to nine minutes. So I'm gonna set my phone right here. There's timer. a baking window somewhere over here. Eight to nine minutes. And you can see the bakey the, the bakey spakey. You can see the bakey spakies. I'm gonna do eight minutes. Do not eight minutes and thirty seconds. So it's right in the middle. And then start it. And we're waiting, and we're waiting, and we're waiting. It's not the cooking tree. 37. 32. 1. 30. 28. 24. <laughs> this is this. This right here <laughs> is mine. I'm, I'm the, what's the girl from Matilda? The really mean one? Daddy, what's her name? What? The girl from Matilda? The mean girl? The mean lady. Um, I don't even know what her name is. It's the, 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 oh, no, the, the Holobin, Har Harabin? The, no. The Malibin, it's something. It's I'll a, look it up. Oh. Anyways, but I'm like her. Eat, eat the chocolate cake! That's not a chocolate cake though, that's okay. chocolate cake. No, I know. 30 seconds left. And it smell smells that? great. Like, I want some brownies right now. It smells like brownies to me. It smells great. It smells like a piece of meat. It's just like a chocolate chip. It's sweet cheese. Alright, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 10 9, 9, 8, 7, 6, 6 5, 4, it's red. 3, 2, 1. That's a boring alarm. <laughs> okay, but um, I think the worst part about this is like waiting for it. So, what we have to do next is see this little arrow in the front somewhere? Down the middle. Do that. What are we doing? There's an, there's there's an arrow right here. Just kidding. Um, there's an arrow. And gonna move this slide the cookie control here. slowly to the left until you reach the arrow. Arrow. Arrow, arrow indicated on the oven. And now. We have to um, put it in the cooling chamber for 10 minutes. So, move it to the little arrow thing. And make sure it's straight because we actually have experience putting it cookies. So, we cheat. Yeah. Um, so, so, oh, now I'm gonna get my timer. For 10 minutes in the cooling chamber. And after that, timer. we can take our cookies out and start making So, timer's about to be up for 10 minutes in the cool zone. 11, 10, 9, 8. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. So we don't have wax paper, so I'm just gonna put this over the plate. How about them apples? And then she's just gonna pull them out. Do you have to move that thing or move this? Do the little circle thing. Here are the cookies. There they are. There's the cookies. Ours looks a little rough. Oh, they look good. I mean, they're hard, so we know that they're probably, they're most likely they're done. So it says uh, place, the, place the plate with the cookies in the refrigerator for five minutes. While the cookies are cooling, clean and dry the baking pan. So. No, you leave them there. No, I'm gonna put it right here. Oops. You don't do that, guys. Don't do that. Okay, so you're supposed to take an oven mitt, mitt but um, I'm using my resources, so. Good job. Let me see that one here. Okay. Is the video still on? Okay, so we're just gonna take this. First cookie. 
Let's put them right here. First cookie, guys. Second cookie. See? Third. Takes a little bit. Fourth. Fifth. Where do the chocolate chips go? On top of it or something? Fancy, you'll see. Oh, because I'm reading it. Oh, I forgot the instruction up here. No, I have to be Six. Oh, use a toothpick to create a good. And we're supposed to put these in the refrigerator for how long? Uh, five minutes. Semi timer. So we're gonna go do that. So, yeah. Go cookies, the cookies are waiting in the refrigerator still a minute and 30 seconds left. Now she still is going to do the chocolate chips. Yeah. So what you're going to do is you're going to place this pan on top of this white part right here. It's going to get pretty hot, so be careful, yeah, like she said. Then we're going to get the chocolate chip package, and we're going to open it. And if it's melted inside, don't worry. Um, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just chocolate melts, you know? So, see those? So. It smells like mint. It smells like mint. So, um, it's a little melted, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, this says it's okay if your stuff are melted together. It's still delicious, and it's still going to be used the same way, so. Okay, so what we're going to do is, it's topping time. Open the entire packet of mint chocolate flavored coating and pour the chips into the clean baking pan. So, I'm just going to spread that all over. There's a bunch of chocolate on there. Guys. It's like a chunk. But it'll all melt, so it's all good. That smells great. See, it's a chunk. It smells like the Andes ones. So see, Andy's that's what I meant by uh, melting together. See, they're already kind of melting. They're already kind of melting. Mm. And <laughs> they have... <laughs> Perfect. Oh, my God. And we should take five minutes. Now I can see where it's going to come from. Most of later. It's gonna take five minutes to melt. So now we're gonna go get the. the did that camera turn off? Oh. Wait, that, did she turn the camera? No, it's not. It's not. Um, now we're gonna go get the ones in the refrigerator. Did so, you turn off the camera? Oh. So now they're back from the refrigerator. These, this beauties. We're gonna melt for five minutes. So I'll set my timer five minutes. Ready? So we're back and we're actually, it's about to be up, the time, and the five minutes actually didn't, didn't really like, Drusilla's doing something in the kitchen right now, so I'm right here, and if you can see kind of here, the five, or it needs to be in there for like another five minutes, it's melting-ish, but not fully all the way, so we're just going to keep it another five minutes and check on it again. Okay, we're back, and the time is almost up, time limit. 13, 12, oh wait, 6, 5, 4, four 3, three like that. 2, two one. 1. Okay, so, so it's actually been 10 minutes. Um, so instead of 5, maybe 10 because it's not as hot, but she's going to do whatever she wants to do. It's not that hot, but still safety matters, people. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to turn it off and unplug it. While she's doing that, we're going to be over here in our mess. So what you're supposed to do is just apply some of this yummy mint mintiness onto a thin mint. Just to make it a real thin mint. You're going to just put it all over it. More like on the top, mainly. So right now I'm just putting the finishing touches on there and you're supposed to put it in there for five minutes. So you're gonna go do that. But you can also make little holes in the top to give it more of the um, Girl Scout cookie type look design of it. If you want, you can do that. Um, and yeah. And we're back and our cookies are finished. After like finished hours and hours. This later. one's perfect. Okay, this one's perfect. But, so we're, we're gonna try these really fast. Just cheers. 
good. <laughs> they are. It's weird. It's good. They actually don't taste that bad. Like, you can taste the mint it's and that. the cookiness. Oh, Olive Garden and one cookie. Yeah. It tastes like the Olive Garden thingies that you get. Okay. Not bad. We like to, we like to, we like to take. We like to, we would like to thank Wicked Cool Toys for sending us this awesome thing and great. we're excited to do these two later. So later on in the week, we're going to do these. Stay tuned for those videos. So, please leave your comments and subscribe to our account. And eat the cookies. Bye. And follow them on Facebook.